Hi. So, hi everybody. Good evening, good evening everybody. Thank you so much for joining today's class. How's everybody doing? ¿Cómo les está yendo? How's everybody? Happy Thursday, guys. No sé si me logran escuchar. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. Hi. ¿Me, me escuchan? Can you hear me? Yes. Hello, Miss. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Great, great. Because yes. I'm having some, some issues with my earphone. I was not sure. Okay, so thanks, everybody. Gracias por acompañarnos. Thank you so much for joining today's session. ¿Cómo están? How are you doing? ¿Cómo les va en su jueves? Everything good? Relax. Pretty good. Oh, yes. relaxed. <laughs> Qué ayer genial. Me, ayer me quedé dormido. Oh, <laughs> really? During classes? Yes. Yeah. Me imagino. <laughs> No, um, it's okay. I mean, I understand it. I like that normally for your honesty. <laughs> okay, but we are uh, going to practice today as much as we can, right? Yeah. So that is the beautiful thing of it. Um, so good evening, everybody. Gracias por acompañarnos. Be uh, Mosa super temprano. Thank you so much. Uh, Anthony. Hey, Anthony. I'm glad you're there. I haven't heard you in a long time. Si puede, no, creo que la, no lo tiene. Eh, Pedrina, thank you so much. Carlos, hello. Moses, Miriam. Uh, Karina, Norbert. Hello. Jackie, hey, Jackie. <laughs> How are you guys? Well, how are you doing? Hello. Everything good, guys? Todo bien? Are you good? You fine? Normally. Normally. <laughs> and what is normally miss? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, no, but I just have, I hope you're having a really good day. Uh, I feel really um, happy, I guess, because, well, ya mañana es viernes, right? La semana se ha ido super rápido. Week has gone super, super fast. And so, el día de ahora comenzamos con una nueva unidad también. Que está, you know, bastante fácil e interesante. So I hope you can, we can make the best of it. Um, regálenme un segundito, les voy a pasar asistencia. I will just get your attendance antes de poder iniciar, before getting started. Okay, ahí vamos. Eh, me Si me ayudan con su camarita, that would be beautiful. And, y la confirmación, claro. And give me some confirmation que están por ahí. Un segundito solamente. Siete, nueve. Ok, perfecto. So, Anita, no sé si Anita ya está por acá. Anita, Anita. No. Hey, ¿Qué tal, güey? Eh, Brian. Ah, no, de que, de que, espera, ¿qué fuera? Danis. Present. Gracias, Dolores. Present, teacher. Gracias, Miss. Good evening. Eduardo. Good evening. Eduardo, no. Guadalupe. Jackie. Present, Miss. Gracias, Miss. Hello. Nice to see you Present. there. Gracias, Jocelyn. Todavía no. Ignacio. Norbert. Present, teacher. Gracias, Norbert. Eh, Alex. Marvin López. Clary. Hello, Miss. I am here. Thank you so much. Moses. Hello. Thank you, Moses. Nelson. Eh, Pedrina. Present teacher. Thank you. René, creo que escuché la voz de René hace un momento. 
Richard. Mabel. Brenda. Creo que vi a Brenda. Brenda, teacher. Thank you. Hello, Miss. Carlos. Creo que vi a Carlos también. Charlie, Hello, Charlie. <laughs> Ahí está, gracias, I'm Charlie. Here. Eh, Karin, eh, Claudia. Claudia todavía no, eh, Karina. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So thanks a lot for your cool attendance. Por <laughs> Okay, so let me go ahead and present my screen so we can get started. Okay, uh, today comenzamos la segunda unidad. We are going to get started with our unit number two. Let me present part of the things that we are going to be checking in this unit. Permítanme. Mm. Okay, ahí está. Eh, primero tenemos one on one con... Eh, Today is the 26th con Eduardo. So, creo que Eduardo todavía no ha venido. Hopefully he can join us. Okay, vamos a comenzar con a little activity that is called Can Say Yes, Can Say No. Um, probably no lo hemos revisado antes, así que let me just explain what this is about. Can Say Yes, Can Say No is like the following. Les voy a hacer un par de preguntas. I'm going to be asking random questions to everybody. And no me pueden responder ni sí ni no. You cannot answer with a yes or a no. Or don't, right? Tienen que darme respuestas largas. Okay? So, um, and that is like number one thing. The second condition is, tienen tres segundos. You have three seconds to answer this. Si no responden en tres segundos, tienen una penalty. <laughs> but the penalty is not like dancing or singing. Um, the penalty puede ser, I don't know, probably como una presentación, like a short presentation, right? Yeah, ya vamos a pensar un poquito. We're going to think about the possible penalty we can get. So, again, um, it is called can say yes, can say no. No pueden decir ni sí ni no. You cannot say yes or no. And tienen tres segundos para responder. So, for example, uh, my first person on the screen is Moses. Moses, are you married? Maybe. Do you have babies? It's possible. Do you have girls? I don't know. Do you work? One, <laughs> two. <laughs> Oh, come on. You were doing such a good job. <laughs> okay, so that is exactly the idea. Thank you so much, Moses. Now, that was very nice played. That was actually very good. Porque es bastante difícil. It's kind of hard, right? To, yeah. um, to I mean, to be thinking, am I going to say yes or no? So you did it nicely. You did it super nicely. Uh, okay, uh, Moses, I want you to select next person. Vamos a ir cinco preguntas a cada uno, five questions each. And uh, yeah, just, just let's be, you know, on stake. Moses, I can selection. Who do you select? I can ver. It's uh, Karina. Okay, perfect, Karina. Guys, necesito su ayuda. I also need your help que le hagan preguntas a Karina too. And remember, this is cannot say yes or cannot say no. So everybody can participate. Todos pueden hacerle preguntas, right? So, ¿quién quiere comenzar? Who wants to start? Me, teacher. Perfect, go. Karina, do you like pizza? Possible. Continue, next, next. Pregunten, guys, ask. Like, quickly. Can, you play, can you play guitar, Karina? Negative. Continue. Do you like reggaeton? Um, almost. Next question, guys. Come on, come on. Go, go, go. <laughs> Nobody wants to ask today. Okay, next do question. Do you like dance? Do you Sorry? take a shower? 
Do you like dancing? Do you like dancing? I can't dance. Nothing? So, so. Okay. Wow, you were difficult yeah. to get. <laughs> Very nice job. That was really good. That was really, really cool. Okay, next person. Karina, select the next Select next person, please. Um. Especially. Especially los de camera off. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. No, it's okay. That's fine. Jocelyn, so let's go with you. Jocelyn, this is a can say yes, can say no. No puede responder con sí o no, but then you can ask lo que sea, whatever, except yes or no. Are you ready? Guys, uh, ask questions, you know. Todos pueden participar. Everybody can participate. Everybody can ask questions. So let's get started. Pregúntele a Jocelyn. Jocelyn, do you like music? Oh, yeah. Do you like seafood? What? Do you like seafood? Seafood. Like? Seafood. Seafood. I'm sorry, no. Marisco. Seafood, yes. like okay. cocktails, fish, yes. cr uh, crabs, mm -hmm. seafood. Oh, and um, mm, also. also. Next question, guys. Next. Do you have a daughter? Sorry? Do you have a daughter? Daughter. Yes. Daughter, daughter. Yes. Daughter, uh huh. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that was a yes. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's okay. You must have a lot of concentration. <laughs> okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you. No worries, no worries. I'll think about your penalty. Provecho, uh, Brenda. Enjoy it. <laughs> All right. Um, Thank you, Thank you. Just a couple hey, more here. Yes. Thank Anita, hi, Anita. Good evening. Thanks for joining. Hi. I'm going to take Dolores. So Dolores will be our next volunteer. Dolores, are you around? Yes, I understand. Okay, guys, okay. so cinco preguntas. These are five questions super quick to Dolores, right? Entre más rápido, mejor. Así que let's do it. Five questions to her. Dolores, do you have pets? You? Do you have pets? Like it's cats, cats and dogs? It's probable. Do you like cats? I prefer the dogs. Okay. Next question. <laughs> Do you take a shower? Every day. Do you drink coffee every day? Very, very much. I drink two cups, two cups of coffee. Three? Three, okay. Dolores is difficult to get. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's like thinking carefully what to say. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Dolores. That's all right. Very nice. Let's go with the last person. It's going to be Clary. Clary, I want to listen to you. Oh, Jackie se me fue. Where is Jackie? I wanted to ask Hello, questions to Miss. Jackie. <laughs> Hello. Okay, Clary, we are going to ask you a couple of questions. You cannot say yes or no. Okay. So, cinco preguntas. Carlos, let me go and get started with you. Super quick. Five questions. 
Okay. Do you have work? Repeat, please. Do you have work? Always. Okay. Next, 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 Mabel. Do you have Mabel. a... Continue, Carlos. Uh -huh. A song? Repeat. Do you have a song? Do you have a song? Never. Do you Never. have a daughter? Never. Or do you have a cat? I hate a cat. Dogs? Do you love a dogs? I want dog. Do you have Only babies? Oh, no entendí la última. Do you have babies? Never miss. Wait, I thought you had a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I no entendí que dijo. I thought you had a baby. I thought you had a boy or a girl. Pensé que tenía children. I thought you had children. Oh, no, no, no. Only well, pets. That was a no. <laughs> Let me ask you, okay? <laughs> well, that was a no. <laughs> Qué buena estrategia. No, 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 no. <laughs> and three times. <laughs> lo pensé demasiado. <laughs> no, lo es automático. <laughs> no, but you were hard. You were difficult to get. <laughs> okay, but I'm super, you know, happy because you understood the questions. At the end, this is about listening. So very nice listening. No, it'd be difficult, you know. It's really hard to not to say no or yes because it's been common that we normally do it. So let's just continue with today's activities here. Um, we already went over the warm up. Give me one second and let's go ahead and check some vocabulary first. Antes de responder estas tres preguntas, quiero que recordemos solamente some vocabulary to talk about everyday activities we do. Okay. So let's take a look. Here are some useful verbs to describe what you do in your job. Okay. Vamos a ver un poquito de empleos, verbs, etc. Y los tenemos por categorías. No se vayan a asustar porque se ve mucha letra. <laughs> okay, actually, no es mucho. It's not that much. So let's take a look. Um, it says here, for example, management type of jobs. Si usted está en la parte de management, these verbs le pueden servir. You know, manage, organize, and supervise, right? Si estamos en la parte de teaching and caring, por ejemplo, si es una nurse, a teacher, eh, o está en la parte de eso de cuidados, por ejemplo, we have teach, we have train, help, and look after. So look after es cuidar a alguien, right? Or take care of somebody. Look after. Por ejemplo, si usted es una nurse, usted eh, cuida a los ancianitos, por ejemplo. So you look after all men, you look after babies. Then we have construction. Si está con construction, technology, machines, etc. Podemos utilizar build, la palabra test. En español utilizamos la palabra probar, right? Oh, voy a probar este, este elemento, voy a probar eh, si funciona. Hi, Ignacio, good evening. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. So, esta palabra test es nuestra palabra probar. Be careful, existe la palabra prove. Pero prove no es probar. Prove es comprobar, right? Como cuando usted necesita evidencia. Gracias, Alex. Good evening. Thank you so much. So, build, test, develop. What's the meaning of develop? Desarrollar. Exactly. Si usted desarrolla algún programa o un proyecto, so you develop some projects, right? Then we have design, program, repair and check para el área de technology, machines and construction. If, si usted está en el área de planificación and financial, algo relacionado con dinero, maybe you can use the words analyze, right? Algunas veces se escribe con S o con Z, ambas están bien, no se vayan a preocupar. But in English, eh, in American English, es más común con Z. So analyze, assess, Evaluate, work out, prepare, and plan. Um, ¿Alguna idea de assess? What is the meaning of assess? Esto de acá, analyze, assess. 
como I assess. Assess se parece mucho a evaluate, así que, you know, son similares. They are synonyms. Assess or evaluate. For sales, si usted vende o es en marketing or something like that. So we have buy, sell, import, export, market, purchase y palabras similares. If you are in logistics, we can use drive, deliver, transport. And if you are in communication, we can use write, phone, talk, listen to, meet, de reunirse, right? Attend. So attend no es atender a alguien. Attend es asistir. So if you say, for example, asisto a una reunión, we say I attend to a meeting. Pero de asistir a, a como... Yo te voy a ayudar de asistencia. So, utilizamos otra palabra, right? Puede ser help, it can be other ways. But attend es de, no de atender a alguien, sino de asistir presencialmente, ya de, de dar mi asistencia, tener mi asistencia. So, guys, these are some of the verbs that we have related to your job. Now, tell me, ¿cuál de estos hacen ustedes en su empresa? Which ones do you, eh, that, Which ones apply in your case? Alguno de ellos, do you have any here? Y si no, if any of them, si ninguno de ellos, if none of them apply for your job, hagamos una listita de los que sí aplican para ustedes. In my case, for example, I can use teach, I can use train, I can use help, I can use test, I can use design, Mm, evaluate, analyze, prepare, and plan. These are the ones that I use. What about you? ¿Qué utilizan ustedes? Which of these verbs utilizan o son parte de, sus, de, su, de las actividades que hacen, right? I use import, mm, export, import. Mm -hmm. transport. Okay. Logistic. Uh -huh. In your case, voy a, voy a agregar uno más because tenemos buy eh, y tenemos una palabra un poco más técnica que también significa buy, que es purchase. So I'm going to add it there. Uh -huh. So buy es lo mismo que purchase, pero es mucho más técnica. So por si lo ven en algún momento o es en el departamento de compras, eso se llama purchase department. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok. Uh, all right. Yeah, teacher. Yes. In, in, my, in my case, in, for example, an activity. Okay. We to use the equipment. Okay. Geophysical. Okay. So that is my is, case. But that um, equipment, I, I am the, I, I to make the test. Okay, so you test. Mm -hmm. The physical test. Okay. And you know in the code. I think you are in the management area, right? Yeah. Okay, so and, probably and, and, also you maybe test, but also I think you can use this. Like you supervise people, right? And uh, that the old, um, too much, uh, much uh, vocabulary verbs that moment and uh, I to you uh, no I mean or, yeah oh, sorry I, I have a you know drilling machine that this uh, this mm -hmm. that vocabulary no, yes oh. yes no 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 worries yeah I mean los traje acá separaditos en área because eh, para que veamos en nuestra área which one apply, right? For example, si están en financial, most likely van a utilizar esos verbos. If you are in sales, lo más común es que utilicemos this part. So, es como de escoger what is our area y se aplica los verbos or not, right? Eh, for example, for management or para quienes son managers, supervisors, los más comunes are this one, manage, organize, and supervise. So, that was the idea. Mm -hmm. So Ignacio says he used probably the word test. I think that you are in supervision. So probably manage times. La vez anterior nos decía que eh, organizan o revisan como el, el, qué tanto 
you drill, right? Que tan profundo eh, you drill with the machines. So probably manage times, etc. What about the rest? So, ¿cuáles aplicarían a ustedes? Eh, Claudia, no sé si Claudia ya está acá. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. Claudia, in your case, ¿cuáles aplican? Which of them apply? In your case, uh, management, okay. uh, organization, supervisor. Okay. Um, a buy. Okay. Oh, already. So that is in the management position. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. That sounds very good. Keep it, please, porque ya lo vamos a utilizar. We're going to use them in a moment. Um, part of the things that we are going to be doing today are these. It says, ask and tell about scheduled activities in a regular day in the workplace. Vamos a hablar un poquito de regular activities at work. Si están muy ocupados, if you're not, etc. Y sobre todo, terceras personas. So, no vamos a escribir mucho, pretty much va a ser más spoken activity. Here we have, listen to your teacher, read a conversation, and then practice with a partner. But, como yo no, no soy quien necesito practicar, because <laughs> necesito que ustedes practiquen, quiero escucharlos, I need to listen to your voice, y su progreso, I need to volunteers. So I need Hi. Will and Orson. Creo que alguien dijo I. Yes, me. Me too. Oh, thank you. Okay, so Mabel, help me with yes. Will, please, and Carlos, okay. help me with Orson. Okay. Okay, I'm a star. Yeah, please. This kitchen looks great. It is good. It, it does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica, mm -hmm. is, she cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? Ese no es mío. ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo no? Es suyo. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Ah, perdón. No, no, no. no. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Es de Carlos. Solo que se ha movido. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. No, she doesn't. George does. He takes order for from 10, 10 p.m. No, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does him brothers take to other after him? Yes, he does. Thank you. Very good job. Exactly. So they are talking about activities they do, like which specific shift, right? And what time they perform some activities. So first, vamos a repetir. Let's repeat this. In charge. In charge. Okay, with me, guys. In, In charge. charge. In charge. Mm -hmm. Church. Okay, next one. Wednesday. 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 Good. Next one. Indeed. 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 So, indeed es nuestro de veras. Okay, cuando usted quiere confirmar algo. De verdad, right? Indeed. Ay, si es cierto. Indeed. indeed. Mm -hmm. Next one. Shift. 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 Con F, shift. 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 Ah, ok. Shift. Se escucha shift. la F. Mm -hmm. Ok, very good. So here yeah. we have the words and. La palabra más importante and most di uh, more difficult here is casual. 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 Moses, can you repeat it? Casual. Okay, schedule, very good. Um, schedule. Uh, Jocelyn? Schedule. Okay, very good. Claudia? Schedule. Okay, nice. Karina? Schedule. Perfect, you got it. So that is a schedule, exactly. And the question is, how busy are you? People, ustedes pasan ocupados. <laughs> how busy are you? Are you busy all the time? Oh. Bien ocupados? Yes. Are you yes. busy all yes. the time? Yes. Why? It, it <laughs> Don't get so busy. No. Okay. No. Cool. Okay. So you have time for the coffee, 
for the gossip. De soda. <laughs> <For> Doctor Apollo. <laughs> okay, so how busy are you? ¿Qué tan ocupados pasan? What is your schedule? And what are the activities that you do, like in the morning, in the afternoon, etc. Antes de irnos un poquito con la parte de schedule, vamos a revisar estas tres preguntas here. The question number one says, what do you like and dislike about your job? Probablemente you have your the job, your dreams job, pero siempre hay algo que nos gustaría cambiar. There is always something that you say, mm, no me gusta esto, I don't like this. No me gusta mi schedule, for example. No me gusta que trabajo el sábado. I don't like because I have to work on Saturday. Or the, I don't like the salary. So, ¿qué no les gusta y qué les gusta, right? Um, two, what are three things that you have to do at your job? ¿Cuáles son las tres cosas, like part of your obligations, you have to do? Something cortito, right? Something super short. And number three, how would you describe your boss? No aplica para René, Alex, ni Brian. <laughs> Okay. So oh, how no. Would you... <laughs> thanks, 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 teacher. Thanks. Okay. No, I yeah. said that. <laughs> okay. Oh, by the way, vi por ahí que I didn't know que creo que Claudia um, Dolores and Eduardo, do you work in the same company, guys? Claudia, son co-workers? Are you co-workers? No, 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 teacher. Con nadie de acá, with nobody here? No. no. Oh, so my bad. Dolores? Yes. With whom? With Eduardo? Eduardo and Nelson. Oh, Eduardo and Nelson. Okay, okay. Yeah, I remember because yesterday, por ahí vi la empresa, and, and I didn't know, no sabía que trabajaban juntos. Okay. Pero, um, ¿hay alguien que sea jefe de ustedes? ¿Jefe del otro? No. No. Ah, ok, no hay problema entonces. <laughs> ok, so we are good. <laughs> so we are totally fine. Ok, except these three guys. So, think a little bit about this. What do you like and dislike about your job? Let's go with the first. Um, let me listen to you guys. So, what do you like about your job? Or what do you dislike about your job? Personally, what I like is that I'm doing home office. That is the most beautiful thing in the world. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the second thing is that I can speak a lot and I can meet a lot of people. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. What I dislike is that I have to make exams sometimes. I don't like exams. <laughs> and that's it. What about you? What is something that you like and you dislike? Volunteers? Victims? Tributos? I like anything? Job. I, like my, I like my job because it's, I know a different kind of people. And, and I like because it's, I can I can visit uh, uh, different kinds of place. For example, I, I, I had never been in the, the Casa Presidencial. Oh, but, okay. Uh, but I remember I one day I went to the the casa presidencial uh, uh, as I saw a crash inside. Yes. Okay. Okay. But was the the president's car? No, uh, the, <laughs> the another company. Another, oh. Yeah. Somebody else's. Okay. 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 Wow, that sounds interesting. Okay, so that is the part that you like. All right. What about the rest? What do you like about your job? My case teacher, I like that uh, some days I work out of office. Oh, okay. And I have a driver and I sleep in the car. <laughs> nice. Hey, that's so beautiful. Yes, so you have example, an assigned driver. Okay. When I need to go to Acajutla Port okay. or airport, uh, I, I sleep some minutes. Like far away, when you have to go yes. far away. Yes, correct. Okay. Do you have a driver every day only for or only for those specific uh, days? 
No, uh, every day I have a driver, driver to always Ooh. my operation. Does it does the driver take you home? Yeah, sometimes. Oh, cool. That's nice. Can you drive? Uh, no, I can drive because I have a drive of the enterprise. No, no, but I mean, can you, like in general, can you drive? No, I can. I can drive a car. And, oh, okay. And also you don't have the, the need because you have a driver. That's <laughs> yes, super cool. It, it's a that I have. Okay, but very cool, cool, cool. What about the rest? What is something you like? In my case, I like it because I know the different place. For example, I remember I one day I went to the Huachapan uh, City, um, mm -hmm. uh, San Miguel de Pesonte. Mm -hmm. I attended the accident party. This is like it for me. Oh, okay, like traveling far away or moving away in the country. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice, nice, very interesting. Anybody like else? Yes. Um. I like uh, that I am always active, um, very busy. Oh. I can always help people, mm -hmm. always. I have a freedom to transport process and some other things. Oh, very cool. Okay, so you are like busy all the time and you can help people. And also I would say in a way you have the power also, right? To make decisions or the yes. freedom to make decisions. That's definitely yes. the best thing. Mm -hmm. Karina, what about you? I, I like my job because uh, I can to talk with different people people from other countries and I help uh, the, the people to Nicaragua but I work here. here. Uh -huh. Oh okay okay oh very nice that sounds good do they do they have an accent I, I don't really know do Nicaragua uh, people from Nicaragua have an accent uh, oops, I oh, think <laughs> a little a little but uh, i talk with a uh, persons who management the the, um, the stores oh okay and i like because they always uh, ask me about her pushers Mm -hmm. And I have the, the answer immediately. Oh, <laughs> I like okay. that. <laughs> okay. I guess it's like you have the numbers, you have what they need, and it's very, like, very specific questions, I guess. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, Ignacio, what is it? What yeah, do you it, like? About the, the, the first question. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I have uh, this like in, our, in my job. Oh, something you dislike. Interesting. Tell us. It's, uh, yeah, but only one person. In our company, we we are three boss. Mm -hmm. The logistic, okay. industrial industrial workshop, okay. In the pro in project, mm -hmm. but the boss from industrial workshop, mm -hmm. he. Today, every day, uh, 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 he tell me he need my 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 help. Mm -hmm. When I need your help, he, he doesn't help. He doesn't. He doesn't help. <laughs> so no como un trabalengua. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's a, uh -huh. oh, but that's bad. So you help him, he asks for help, but he doesn't help out. Okay, that sounds bad. <laughs> so it sounds like no hay mucho teamwork, probably. Guys, what about the rest of you? What is something that you dislike about your job? Algo que no les gusta, something you dislike. The, the pain, the, my lunch. Your lunch, why? Too little time? Why? Your lunch. 
How much time do you have for lunch? Yes. Yeah. The, uh, only 30, 30 minutes. Only 30 minutes for lunch. Oh, okay. So 30 minutes for lunch. Yeah, okay. I have one hour. That's true. Okay. Okay. What about the rest? How much how time? Many, how, how many time do you need, Jocelyn? No, at least one hour. <laughs> uh -huh, because imagine, mientras va a comprarla o calentarla, you hear it. So, a todavía con el bocado. <laughs> the other, the other list, this like, uh, don't have a microwave. Oh, there is no microwave. Sorry, 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 a question for Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. in, in the, in your, in your, in your 30 minutes, you include the, through the brush your tooth. Yeah, I, <laughs> I know. You, you uh, do it uh, fast, mm -hmm. uh, but, but I uh, um, take uh, my chain, uh, a low, a very low, uh, eat my lunch. That's why the time is not enough. Okay, I see. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah at, at least 45 minutes. I mean, to eat like peacefully, let's say. Yeah, I, I got it. Yeah, and, and that is another thing. Sometimes ya tenemos como nuestros hábitos, right? In my case, ya aprendí a comer super rápido. I learned to eat really fast por eso, because of the time for lunch. But but yeah, it's not a good idea. Okay, good. What about the rest, guys? What is something you don't like about your job, Brenda? Oh yes, tell us, tell us. Um, my availability, yes, mm -hmm. yes your availability um, must be twenty four seven on my no. cell. Really? Yes. And I be sometimes. Uh, Como interrumpe, ¿cómo se dice? Interrupt. Interrupt family reunions sometimes. So, if you are on vacation and they need you? And, so you ah, ese es el punto dos. Eso, el punto dos es que for me it's difficult to get vacation. I mm. have a, a 20, no, 42 day, days eh, pendientes. What? 42 days uh, off? Acumulado uh -huh. de años? Yes, and in a short time, I will, como cumplo, 15 more days. ¿Cómo sería que en el corto tiempo a cumplir? I'm short time, I will, ¿cómo es cumplir? I will, pero cumplir en qué sentido? O sea, ya se me vencen los otros 15 días, o sea, se van a sumar oh, de 42 expire. Pegar 50, so 15 days will expire. Expire. Expire, de expirar. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, okay. Expire. 15, 15 okay. days will expire Entonces, soon. Is... So, ¿cuándo fue la última vez? When was the last time you had vacation? Um... Enero 2020, cuatro días. Wow, okay. Y, y eso, no, no es difícil tomar más de cuatro días para mí. Mm -hmm. Because they need you, because you need to go, because, mm. wow, it sounds kind of hard. Okay. No, mis, pero tómeselos. <laughs> y no, no, pues en el spa. Eh, aquí dándole malas recomendaciones. No, I mean, because Así que I, Brian no se puede quedar. Yeah. No, I mean, por, por salud mental, no, no, I guess, no. if necessary. Yeah, so you Qué bárbaro, Brian. Too. Qué bárbaro, Brian. No, no, para nada. Sí, ¿Qué es Brian? Quiere hablar, dice. Brian, ah, dele, go. <ríe> Lo que pasa es que no puedo ahorita porque estoy viendo muy fuerte, no se van a escuchar. ¿Por, ¿Por qué dice? I'm sorry. Ya ve, es que está lloviendo muy fuerte. No, pero si se le escucha, solo que I, I couldn't hear the water. ¿eh? ¿Qué pasa, René y Marvin antes? Yo estoy el mismo Las puede escribir también, no hay problema. De so we can, de write, we can ya, read it from the chat. De todas formas, yo no soy su jefe directo, pueden, pueden expresarse con toda libertad. Ay, güey. No, no, no. Tómela como bien, una todo. sesión de catarsis. Then. Okay. No, pero ya, ya, 
yo ingresé a la empresa siendo ella, bueno, siempre ¡Ay, sido, es cierto! Pero es su jefa. Dentro de, dentro de su operación. Uh -huh. ah, yo era del o sea, sigue ahí, pero en otro puesto como más directo. Es cierto. Pero Entonces sí es la jefa. Más cercano a ella. Sí, sí. claro, claro. Oh, yo quería okay. disfrazarlo, pero... Pero no se pudo. Okay. Bueno. okay. So, anybody else? Uh, what about the rest of you? What is something that you don't like, guys? Clary, what is something you don't like about your company? Creo que ya que escribió que tenía problemas entrando. Anita, what about you? Uh, so, you are from the same Number company, one. so you can give us some input. Mm -hmm. Clary? Number one? Yes. Something you don't like about your company. I don't. What I about don't your job? Love. Like is a schedule, a schedule. Why? What what when, job is, What's your schedule? Yes, uh, our job is Monday until Saturday. Okay. It's seven thirty at forty four thirty p.m. That's a beautiful schedule. <laughs> what about uh, Saturday? I have one. I have one hours uh, for a lunch. Okay. And Saturday, do you work until 4.30 or do you work until noon? Uh, it's noon. Oh. <laughs> only no. Saturday. Only Saturday. Okay. Uh, uh -huh, yeah. Well, I love your schedule. <laughs> I think that's a really cool one. The only thing is you have only one day off. Okay. Guys, who has a really bad schedule? Uh, Clary says she doesn't like her schedule. What about the rest of you? Anybody else who doesn't like the schedule? Well, we already heard that. I like my schedule. Day. You like your schedule? Okay, okay, cool. Yes, because for day I can uh, stay, get out later. Oh, okay. Okay, nice, nice, nice. For example, tomorrow I can okay. work it right now because my, uh, tomorrow I can get out very, very later. What time? Um, 10 a.m. And what time do you start working? Quiero ver a la 1 p.m., pero no sé cómo se diría. Yeah, 1 p.m., exactly. Oh, you start working at 1 p.m., and you finish working what time? 8 p.m.? 8 p.m. Okay. Oh, that's a nice schedule. Un poquito difícil. Pero estamos aquí listos siempre para que escuchen a Lipsonia. Yeah. Nice. I'll be ready right now. Perfect. Are you okay. ready? Yes. Okay, that, oh, that's all right. <laughs> no, you know, but that is a really big motivation. <laughs> that, that she is right here too. Now let's take a look at the one that is uh, in number three. How would you describe your boss? Me? Does, does anybody? Yes. Yes. I Mary. can't. I can. I can say. Uh, the answer number okay. three. Okay. You cannot or you can, sorry. Can't, cannot, can't. Oh, why? <laughs> because it is recorded. No, no. <laughs> okay. Is Anita your boss? No, right? No, miss. Okay, no worries. No, I mean, but you can say good things too. No, Not necessarily <laughs> negative things, guys. <laughs> so... Uh, how would you describe your boss or co-workers? So do you have like a favorite co-worker, a cool co-worker, a nice one? So don't, don't think it, um, don't think it wrong. So no solo son cosas feas, right? <laughs> you can say beautiful things about people. In my case, I, I have only three boys co-workers. And okay. my boss. Ah, so, okay. So, so do, there. You, do you have a good relationship? Do you get along well? Yeah, we we always uh, eat. Uh, we always have the lunch together. Oh, nice. And during the lunch, uh, we're talking about other things. Exactly. No work. Yes, exactly. That is a beautiful yeah. thing about, about having lunch together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ooh. and I and I like because some of of my coworkers have more experience in the work, 
And when I, I don't know what I do, mm -hmm. uh, they always help me. Oh. Uh, okay. And bring me in uh, examples or, uh -huh. or wow. advantage. That is teamwork. <laughs> So that sounds like a really good teamwork. Yeah, that's nice. You know, I'm, I'm gonna tell you my 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 brief experience in that. Uh, some years ago, I was I was having like an office job, and we were like four friends, you know. And during lunch time, we had only one hour, so we had lunch, and also we um nos enviciamos con Dr. Apollo. <laughs> So during lunchtime, we watched uh, Caso Cerrado every day. <laughs> that was something crazy, pero solo en el lunch, you know. <laughs> okay, and we had a good relationship. We got along very well. What about you guys? So how would you describe your co-workers? Not necessarily something bad. Norbert tiene compañeros de trabajo. Do you have co-workers? Or are you alone? Um, By the yes, way, teacher. elegante and ahora, you're very elegant today. <laughs> okay, so tell us about your co-workers. Um, describe my my boss. Or your um, co-workers, whatever you prefer. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, my boss is uh, is uh, uh ¿cómo se dice? Uh, educado. Okay. okay. Educated. Uh -huh. Well, educated. Um, is a person um, very um, patient. Okay, patient. Um, and with my my coworker, um, are some. Um, very work, very worker. Like a hard working person, bien trabajador, a hard working person. Uh, how, ¿cómo se dice meta? Uh, what uh, do you mean? Que es alguien que, que sigue las metas, como alguien determinado, a determined person? Yeah, a determinado, determinado person. Um, yeah, how, how um, uh, once uh, uh, meta, como se dice meta? Oh. Goal. Uh, goal. goal. Mm -hmm. um, how goal uh, the the um, un monto determinado? Oh, okay. So we're talking about money. Okay. Okay, yes. nice, nice. But it sounds like you do have a good relationship. So it's, that's nice. It's, mon it's monthly. Monthly, a monthly goal. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh okay. yeah. Yes, una meta mensual. All right, thank okay. you. Thank you guys for sharing that. Yes, Ignacio? Uh, sorry, I will. Uh, no, yes, of course, go ahead. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very short. Uh, he is a young man because he only have a yeah my boss is he is a young young boy only have a 36 years old oh he's young yeah and uh, he have a ability in business and uh, give the command okay they 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 he is a uh, he have a, a, a serious person okay and they only have a 36 36 years old yeah but it sounds like your boss is very young younger for me mm -hmm. i mean if we compare yeah but maybe he has a lot of experience probably mm -hmm. yeah but but he, He's a, a professional. Of course. And you said that he, 
he is a serious person too. Okay, nice, nice. I want to listen to the rest too, guys. <laughs> the rest are very quiet today. Okay, so let's take a look at the grammatical aspect for today. Veamos que vamos a trabajar con terceras personas. I know you know this topic. No es necesariamente nuevo, pero revisémoslo just in case. We have simple present for schedule activities and especially third person singular. So, cuando hablemos de él o de ella, one person, vamos a cambiar el verbo. For example, Matt serves at 2 p.m. Paul gets to work at 1 p.m. Andrea cleans the tables from 5 to 9. Or Maria cooks from 7 to 1.30. So, ¿cuál es la regla here? Siempre que tengan he, she, o tengan it, tengan cualquiera de las tres, debo obligatoriamente cambiar el verbo. So, let's go ahead. ¿Cómo puedo utilizar, por ejemplo, work? ¿Cuál sería la conjugación con tercera persona? Work se convierte en... Works. Work. Perfect. Works. Solo la S. Open. Open. Opens. Solo la S, right? Opens. Arrive. ¿Cuál sería el de arrive? Arrive. Solo la S. Solo la S, that's it. Close. Close. Closes. Exactly. Closes. Go. Go. Le agregamos a ver si E, S, I, S. So vamos a repetirlo. Works. Works. Opens. Open. Arrives. Arrives. Closes. Closes. Goes. Goes. Listen to this. Goes. Goes. I go to the beach. My sister goes to the beach. Goes. 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 Le vibra un poquito, porfa. Goes. Goes. She goes to the beach. Okay, very good. Now, this is third person singular. Vamos a practicar un poquito más before we go and study and, and go for the speaking. So, I walk. He walks. I go. He Go. Go. Exactly. I dance. He, she. She dances. She dances. She dances. 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 Exactly. Dances. I speak. He speaks. 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 So la S, right? I study. She. She studies. 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 Very good. I enjoy. He. He enjoys. 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 I fix. I fix. I fix. Fix. Fixes. 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 Very good. I jump. He I jumps. 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 Okay. Jumps. I wash. He washes. 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 Exactly. I find. She. I find. 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 Finds. So remember, Fine. tercera persona solo es S o E S, right? I marry, como yo me caso, I marry. I marry. Marries. Marries. Exactly. He dies. I... <laughs> he dies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I keep. She. I keep. Keeps. Keeps. Exactly. Keep. I love. It. I love. It. Loves. Loves. Okay. Loves. Very nice. Now, vamos a hacer la siguiente actividad. We're going to do the following activity. Um, no hay nadie mejor, you know, que se conoce, que conozca o que los conozca a ustedes que ustedes mismos. So, talk about yourself. Talk about yourself. Pero vamos a hacer algo raro. Talk about yourself. Pero vamos a hacerlo en tercera persona. We're going to do it in third person singular. Ok. Como si usted estuviera hablando de la otra usted. <laughs> o el otro usted. All right. So, for example, si tengo que hablar de mí. Yes. Yeah, so, I can say, oh, Julia uh, or Julie is a teacher. She is 30 something years old. She works all day long. She is a really hard working person. She works from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Um, okay. She works on Saturday from 7 to 5 p.m. And on Sundays, ¿qué hago? <laughs> on Sundays, she stays at home or she watches a movie 
um, or she goes to walk sometimes, etc. Es ustedes mismos, your information, lo único que estamos haciendo es cambiando la tercera persona, right? So, I'll give you, les voy a dar ahorita cuatro o cinco minutitos solo para que lo escriban, so you can write it down. One recommendation, no escriban lo que van a decir, sino solo el verbo, right? Piensen, por ejemplo, a qué horas trabaja, cuál es su horario. So, work from, right? Eh, si hay alguna actividad, por ejemplo, que hacen, eh, o oh, well, tienen clases, have classes. So, las puedo escribir de esta forma para que no me mate la fluidez después. Y solo me recuerdo de agregarle la S. She works. Have cambia totalmente para tercera persona y se convierte en has. She works. She has. Yeah. She visits. She spends. Visits. She spends. She goes. Etc. So vamos a ir cambiándole los verbos. Tienen cinco minutitos. You got five minutes. necesitan ayuda con vocabulario, let me know. Me avisan, por favor. Ok. Baby, ¿será que cayó ratón? One more minute. Thank you. 
Teacher. Yes, Ignacio. Uh, quiero ser el primero cuando sea el turno. Uh, sure, but si ya lo tenemos, solo vamos a practicar para que podamos, you know, uh, get more familiar before. Mm -hmm, but sure, absolutely, yes, you can be the first. Okay, guys, so it's about time. Me imagino que ya tienen como el vocabulario. Como el vocabulario que necesitan. Oh, creo que alguien. Por error. Ok, so I guess you got um, las palabras, los verbos, el vocabulario that you need for this activity. So let's do the following now. Vamos a ir a los grupos por un momentito. We are going to join them. Les vamos a contar a los compañeros. And remember, vamos a practicar un poquito de fluidez. So, entre más rápido lo digamos, siempre y cuando sea comprensible, the better. You know, entre más lo repitan, mucho más fácil se vuelve. So, vamos a ir ahí y luego cuando regresemos sí lo vamos a presentar. So, we will be presenting. And Ignacio, eh, pues quiere ser el primero, así que of course, you can be my guest. So, in the meantime, eh, vamos un momento, let's go to the rooms. Listen to your classmate. Eduquen el oído, you know, si hay algo que no le entendieron. Please be open and tell them, can you repeat? I didn't get that. I didn't understand that. Porque de eso se trata, de ir educando nuestro oído también, right? So, let's get going. Tenemos cinco minutitos. Go, practice, listen, especialmente listen to your classmates. Porque todo va a ser en inglés, right? Y luego regresamos. Let's go, everybody. A diario o toda la semana, como queramos uh -huh. hacerlo, ¿verdad? Contra más largo, mejor, pero a mí me cuesta bastante pronunciar y mejor dice chiquito. Okay. <risa> ya somos dos, no se preocupe. Tres bueno, conmigo. Pues, Hagan el de ustedes, a ver cómo les queda. <risa> ok. Ok. Repetimos. Ah, teacher, aquí está la teacher. Sí, aquí está la teacher. Uh -huh. Hola, teacher. Eh, ¿Nos puede como complementar exactamente cómo es la cosa que no le comprendimos? Please, teacher. 
Uh, sure. Es como hablar de nosotros. Vamos a hablar de, siempre de nosotros, right? La única diferencia es que en vez de decir I, voy a decir she. O sea, usted no sigue hablando de usted. Como tell me about yourself, right? La única diferencia Pero es que... en general, ya uh -huh. sea de personales, como si tengo hijos o no, o cosas del trabajo, cosas... Anything, ajá, uh -huh. anything. Puede ah, ser la, okay. lo que hace todos los días, puede ser su rutina, puede ser de usted, pero lo vamos a decir en tercera persona, right? Ok. Mm -hmm. yes. Como si usted okay. está hablando de alguien más. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. You are welcome. So, si ya lo tiene listo, si tomaron algunas notas, let me listen to you. Ya casi. Yo medio hice algo, teacher. Uh, ok, ok, Dolores, let, let us hear you. Let okay. us listen to you. Sarai is a count time. Mm -hmm. She works in PDC, PDC Comercial. Mm -hmm. She is very dedicated. Mm -hmm. has, she has English class in the night. Okay. Es, eso medio he hecho ahorita. No, super bien. Super bien. Ah, That's ah, so así good. podría ser, ¿verdad? Yes, of course. That's good. Ah, okay. Eh, okay. Dolores, o oh, prefiere estar ahí, ¿verdad? No Dolores. Mm, como se le, a mí, como no se le complique. No, no, no. For me, it's fine. Todos no, no me dicen Saraí, solo en las clases de inglés. Siempre le dicen Dolores. Sí. No. Entonces but... ya me acostumbré. No, oh, ok. I'll try to get Saraí then. Okay. Yeah, normally es como el primer nombre que uno toma. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, okay. okay. I see. Ok, that, that's a very good description. Quizás solamente sería de ampliarle un poquito, right? De, de agregarle un poquito más. Mm -hmm. Ok. Teacher, okay. I have a question. Yes, Mabel. ¿Cómo diría, eh, tengo esto? She gets up at 6 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Or 6 a.m. Eh, luego... Lleva a sus hijos. Sé que es her children, pero ¿cómo sería llevar? ¿Cómo ocupa este verbo? Take. She takes. She takes her children mm -hmm. to their grandmother's house. Yes. She uh, takes her children to, to her. Grandmother. ¿Es la casa de her, su abuela o la casa de la abuela de their. ellos? Oh, to their. Mm -hmm. De ellos. To yes. their so grandmother's takes... house. Yes. Eh, eh, our, our house come, uh, no, arrive to work at 7 uh, around 7 city uh -huh, mm -hmm. and has breakfast mm -hmm. in the in her her work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yes, I think. <laughs> so far, so good. She working all day. Okay. She works all day uh, long. All right. That that's a very uh -huh. good description. Muy buen uso de terceras personas. Quizás solamente le agregaría un poquito de conectores, verdad? Como luego, then, after that, eh, um, para que sea un poco más suave. Pero lo demás súper bien. Very nice. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Yo le voy a agregar. Ok, cool. What about the rest? Ah, ¿cómo, te, cómo, cómo diría eh, lo voy a agregar? I'll add it. I have a grid. I, I will add it. Agre add. Agre Ajá, agregar agre es como add. Ah, ok. O sumar okay. también es add. Mm -hmm. I will add it. Ok. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, no worries. Danis, tell us about Danis' activities. 
uh, I added new information every day. Mm -hmm. Here, analyze your, the the cost. Mm -hmm. the the last year the the last month I am play it mm -hmm. yeah the, um, every day play card okay oh, okay. Oh, okay 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 cool now hagamos lo mismo pero ahora como tercera persona como he Oh, mm. you work it. You work it. This mute means you mute. Perdón. So, for example, <laughs> he works. He works or uh -huh. he work. Ah, he works. He work uh, playing for playing card from, with me every day. Okay. And the last, the the la, the, the time log. In the time log. The time or, log. Yeah. Okay. Or um, he work. He work. Play works. soccer. Works. Oh. Play soccer. No, entonces le quitamos el el work, verdad? So, so ah, okay. he play soccer. He play soccer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, fr Friday, mm -hmm. the after other office. After office, okay, after okay, office. cool. Yeah. That, that sounds like a good description. Anita, are you ready, Anita? Yes, teacher. Okay, nice. Um, her 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 name. Is Ana Delmi. Okay. She get up early every day. Okay. And and then takes a shower mm -hmm. with water. Como se dice tibia? Warm. Warm water. Water, water warm. Nice. <laughs> okay. Sometimes, sometimes. Okay. And she takes mm -hmm. breath cuff and then she drives um, to office. And she, she works every day very hard. And fin finally, she goes to house and for see your your son. Uh, her her son. Her son, pardon. Yes, her son. yes. No, it's okay. It's okay. okay. All right. Nice. That was a very good description. I like it a lot. Okay. Muy buen uso de terceras personas, muy buen vocabulario, cool. All right, creo que me falta Pedrina. I think I didn't listen to her, pero escuché que ya lo tenía listo. So, Pedrina, are you ready? Ya le estaba diciendo y no me contestó. <laughs> bueno. Eh, creo que está en mute. She is at work eh, Monday a Saturday. Uh -huh. eh, she is a uh, afternoon if where my parents mm -hmm. she is a uh, goes uh, where in my children mm -hmm. hasta ahí, hasta ahí. okay solo le voy a quitar un pedacito en la parte de she is she is ah. está super bien pero si usted me describe por ejemplo Pedrina es bien inteligente <laughs> Pedrina <laughs> is inteligent entonces si sí ah. necesito el is De lo contrario, si es un verbo, no lo necesito. Por ejemplo, ella trabaja. She works. Sí. Ajá. She works from Monday to Saturday. Exactly. Ah. She works. O sí, me decía, sí. ella va a la casa de sus papás. So, she goes sí, sí. to her father's house. Sí, sí. 
or her parents' house. No necesito el is. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok, ok. ¿Cuál es la otra que tenía, perdón? Eh, no, tenía esa duda. Es que los conectores ahí. No, I mean, esa parte está súper bien. That part is really good. Solo quitarle el is. Y el verbo, ¿verdad? She goes, she plays, she arrives, she gets up, she has breakfast. Solamente sin el is. Mm -hmm. Súper bien. Okay, okay. okay, guys, los dejo un minutito si necesitan practicar a little bit or anything else. And I'll see you in just a bit. Dime one second. Hi Jackie, me alegra verla de regreso. Happy to see you back. Gracias por regresar, Miss. Thank you so much for that. Me está fallando bastante el internet. Me la está sacando, right? Pero gracias, Miss. Thank you so much for coming. Todavía está lloviendo allá, ¿no? Fíjese que está tronando, pero quizás eso está, está afectando un poquito. Yeah, probably. Es que de hecho creo que es la zona, ¿verdad? Que la zona tiene muy mala, bastante, la recepción sí. no es tan buena. Uh -huh. La verdad que sí. Teacher, I had a problem with the exercise number two. Me too, eh, me too. I have a problem to exercise. El que me comentó, Brian, no sé si es el uh -huh. mismo que tiene eh, también. Estoy, estoy confundido, quizás. I am confusion. Marvin. Me too. Yo, yo he intentado de diferentes formas, no sé, y, y, y siempre pues tengo una pequeña confusión. Oh, ok. Um, in number two, you said. But see, 2022. Solo terminamos el, los ejercicios uh, up to date y en los últimos minutitos lo revisamos, así como detalle a detalle, right? Donde les está dando dificultades. Because probably okay. es una letra. Hay un ejercicio que tiene un problema de forma, digamos. Eh, uno okay. le, vamos a em le vamos a cambiar la palabra staff por la palabra employees. Y esa era la número ah, pues cuatro. Esta tiene que ser. La ah, número ah, cuatro. Con, con esa es, entonces, sí, porque... Eh, de hecho, es en la que trae el staff, sí, es cierto, y... Okay. Y también ya tiene... Se como a los días libres de fin de semana. Sí, yo Pero yo, yo ya le... Perdón, yo ya le puse employee y no me sale. Employees, right? Pero adicionalmente tiene una letra A de más, right? Una A que no es necesaria. So, en el ejercicio aparecen dos, pero solamente necesita una. Uh -huh. So, okay. al finalizar la, la sesión, lo, lo podemos ver. We can check it out. Eh, porque okay. sí tiene razón. Ahí, ahí sí hay un detalle de, de formato. Que, que les está causando algunos problemitas. Ok, guys, so um, estábamos practicando your welcome. Ya lo vamos a revisar, no worries. So okay. we were talking a little bit about yourself in terceras personas. Um, I was listening and that's quite fine. So ahora sí, let's go and practice so we can get more familiar with this topic, right? Uh, first, let's take a look at the following. Tenemos acá una breve descripción de lo que hace una persona, what a nurse does. Her name is Kelly. Well, sorry, Nelly. Her name is Nelly. Um, let me see. A quien no he escuchado participate in a long time. La voz de quien no recuerdo. <laughs> Nelson, ayúdame, porfa. Nelson, ¿está por acá? Sí, yes, amazing. Please, Nelson, ayúdeme con el primer párrafo. Help me reading paragraph number one. This is Nelly. Mm -hmm. She is a nurse. She is told and him. Voy a mover eso. No, no. She works at okay. She works at, she gets up at six o'clock in the morning. She takes a shower and bath 
and put on her clothes. Mm -hmm. Then she eat breakfast at half past six mm -hmm. at seven o'clock. Continuo. Oh, sorry, lo que pasa es que no sé, se me está quebrando. Pero oh. se, se me quedó en silencio, entonces I didn't know. Uh, pero no sé si es my internet. Guys, me estoy quebrando mm. también. Am I breaking? No, no okay. eh, Nelson is no, no, no. Oh, ok, ok, ok. Yeah, I was worried porque creí que, que my, my microphone was, or my, my okay. internet was breaking. Um, yeah, yeah, please continue. Nelly start. Okay, Nelly start work at eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. She clean the rooms in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And she held the doctors at 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. She has lunch. She goes home at five. Home at five. At lunch, yeah. day, a shower, and she takes dinner. a shower. Mm -hmm. And she cooks dinner. Mm -hmm. She has dinner at half at six. She takes a shower and she cooks dinner. Mm -hmm. She has dinner and she watches TV at 10 o'clock. She goes to bed. Thank you so much, Nelson. That's all right. Hey, I heard your voice. <laughs> okay, amazing. Thank you so much. So let's take a look at this little description here. First, tell me what activities, what are some of the activities that they mention she does at half past six? What does she do at half past six? Half past six. What does she do? She eats breakfast. Yes, very good. She eats breakfast. Exactly. What about at five o'clock? What does she do at five o'clock? Five o'clock? She goes home. She goes at home. Okay, very good. Now, uh, where does she work? She works at the hospital. Okay, very good. Now, let me show you the questions. Y vamos a revisar las slides super quick here. Give me one second. Permítanme que no quiero. Okay, acá están. So, what's her name? ¿Cuál es su nombre? What's her name? Nelly. 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 Okay. What is she? I mean, what does she do? A nurse. A nurse. nurse. Where does yeah. she work? At the hospital. In the hospital. In the hospital. Is yeah. she fat? Era mm. rellenita. Is she fat? I remember. I don't remember. Is she fat? Is she a little fat? No. No. Exactly. Uh huh. Very good. No, she's not. She is thin. Exactly. It's thin. Can she drive a car? Yes. She yes. drives. Yes. yes. Drives a car. She yeah, car. right. Mm -hmm. She drives her car. Does she get up at six o'clock? Yes. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah. No. Mm. No. 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 Get up at six o'clock. Get up at six o'clock. Yes. Oh, so yes, right? Does she yes. get up at six o'clock? Yes. yes. Does she eat breakfast at seven o'clock? Yes. Does she eat breakfast yes. at yes. seven? At seven o'clock? No. Yes. No. No. Uh, no. Uh, past, past six. Half oh. past six. Past six. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> Cerca. <laughs> um, does she cook dinner at the hospital? 
Does she mm. cuisine at uh, the hospital? No, she no. doesn't. No. In home. Be home. Mm -hmm. No, Be right. Home. Not at the hospital. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Uh, does she help the doctors? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. right. She does. Okay. Does she go to bed at night? Yes. 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 Like. Yes. yes. Yeah, right. Definitely. Yeah. She goes to bed at night. All right. At 10 o'clock. What time does she have lunch? What time does she have lunch? At 12? At 12. 12. At 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. well, yes. 12 o'clock. Exactly. What time does she have dinner? Um, 7 o'clock. 6. Six, 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 six and then. Oh. Five. A half past six. Six thirty or six and a half. Exactly. A la six and media. Okay. Uh, what time does she go to bed? Ten o'clock. Yes, very good. At ten o'clock. Excellent. Very good, guys. Nice. Now, ahora sí vamos a completar just a couple of exercises just in third person singular. Take a look at the following. Here we have. Um, number one, for example, my brother, tengo el verbo speak. ¿Cómo lo convierto en tercera persona? My brother speaks. My brother speaks. Yes, speaks. Three languages. Two, Daniel. Daniel? Watches. 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 Perfect. Watches. Yes. Three, Jennifer. Watches. 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 Más relajado. Yeah. Very good. Four, Ryan. Goes. 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 Mm, Goes. Pero hay un, un sonidito más que le voy a agregar. Ryan. Goes. Goes. Yeah, one more time. Goes. Goes. Yes, exactly. Ese es el sonido. Es como una U. Goes. Goes. Oh. Very good. Ryan goes. Goes to church. Como una U. Mm -hmm. Very good. My sister. Das. 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 Very nice. Ahora vamos con las negativas. My father doesn't like. I have a question. Does ¿En las like. negativas le pongo la S o ya no la necesito? No. 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 That's I not, don't need it. Okay. No, it's necessary. It's not necessary. So my father don't or doesn't. 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 My father doesn't like fast food. Very good. Your uncle your doesn't. 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 Doesn't, work doesn't, work doesn't work here. Nice. Excellent. What about questions? Number eight. Sarah. What does is the question? Does Sarah want uh, Sarah want, want to does come? Very good. Does Sara want to come with us or does she want to come with us? She Very good. Mm -hmm. Does she or does Sara? Number nine, Andre. What is the question? Enjoy. Enjoy. Does enjoy pop music. Does Andre enjoy pop music? Exactly. Does, uh, does he, does Andre? Mm -hmm. Very good. Y la última, uh, Lia. Teaches. Teaches. Very good. Uh, Lia teaches English in a private school. Okay, guys, amazing. You know, I really like it. Eh, creo que con gramática no tenemos mayor dificultad. So, solamente es una cuestión de practicarlo para que se nos sea más fácil al momento de hablarlo, right? At the moment that we need to use it. So, for the following activity, let me just check it out. For the next one, tenemos un par de minutos. And what I want you to do is the following. Eh, no, we're good. Okay. Quiero que piensen. I want you to select from your house. Puede ser. Let me write it down. You can choose or select, right? Que es lo mismo. Choose or select. A uh, famous person or... A family member, cualquiera de los dos. 
nos van a decir, you're going to tell us, family member. So, describe, describe the activities they, oopsie. Describe the activities they do every day, right? Um, also, describe what they like or don't like. Or don't like. Okay, so this, these are some of the things that we are going to be doing. Vamos a seleccionar solo uno, of course. We are going to select only one person. So you can select a famous person. Right, del que, que les guste mucho, que lo hayan escuchado, a president, a singer, an actor, del que sepa mucho, of course, or seleccionan a un miembro de su familia, anybody, el que ustedes quieran. So, vamos a describir, the activities they do every day, a qué horas se levantan, a qué horas comen, every, everything que consideren adecuado, right? Uh, and of course, look, las actividades que ellos hacen, what they like or what they don't like, Siempre utilizando terceras personas. O algo que ellos no hacen, you know. Um, so anything, pretty much, es solo contarnos un poquito de esa persona. Lo pueden escribir, you can write it down. Or, si ya lo hemos practicado antes, lo más fácil y lo más adecuado sería, organicen las ideas en su mente, como en el aire, right? Repítanlo en voz alta. Repeat it loudly para ustedes mismos. Para que ustedes escuchen y sea como, ay, esta no es la palabra, I'm not sure about this, no sé cómo se pronuncia, right? For example, if I have to select a family member, yo seleccionaría a mi sobrino. So, ¿cómo lo voy a presentar? I'm going to present it this way. Let me talk about my favorite person, or let me talk about my mom, let me talk about my sister, let me talk about my nephew. Ahora les voy a hablar de mi sobrino. Let me talk about my nephew. Uh, his name is Noé, and he is 12 years old. He goes to a school only two times a week. Uh, he likes math, and he likes science. He plays Free Fire too much. <laughs> he likes Japanese things like Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, and he loves sports. He plays soccer twice a week and he participates in a little tournament. He doesn't like, um, que no le gusta? Oh my God. He doesn't like, oh, he likes cooking. He's 12 years old, but he likes cooking. And he doesn't like eating tortillas and eating vegetables. Um, he likes all kinds of sports. And that's it. Thank you for your attention. Guys, yeah. applausos. <laughs> okay, so this is the thing. Oh, it's super, oh, super nice. So, esa es la idea. Vamos a hablar de ellos. We are going to talk about this person. No, no es necesario que usemos vocabulario rebuscado, complicado. No, not really. Solo es de agarrar un poquito más de fluidez y seguridad. So, terceras personas, don't forget, he, y luego el verbo, right? She works, he plays, she likes, He doesn't like. So, eso es lo que vamos a usar ahorita. And al final, cuando terminamos, utilizamos esa expresión. That's it. That's it significa eso es todo. Okay, and that's it. All right, eso es todo. That's it. Thank you so much. Or that's it. Eso me indica que ya finalice. All right. So, les voy a dar ahorita eh, cinco minutitos. In case quieran escribirlo, quieran buscar el vocabulario, quieran recordarse cómo decirlo. Or in case quieran ustedes practicarlo en voz alta para ustedes mismos, right? That's really important. Um, no se trata de memorizárselo. That is not the idea, sino repetírselo. Que usted lo, lo intente decir en voz alta, ¿ya? Yeah? Y que se lo repita como sea necesario. Um, una de las técnicas que funciona mucho es póngase enfrente del espejo y repítaselo. Let me talk about my nephew. He is, y vamos organizando la idea en la mente, right? He is. His name is, he is 20 years old, he is two years old, he is three years old. Y ahí nos vamos. Cinco minutitos, tenemos hasta las 45. And I'm going to pick some, 
son volunteers. No, I'm going to pick some victims. <laughs> Para que ya nos preparemos con el primero. Yo sé que usted es mi primera persona en la pantalla. Dígame un número. Eh, de luz del 24. From 1 to 24. Mm. Mm. 18. Okay, so person number 18 is René. <laughs> okay. You can But, do it. Pero, pero todavía no, René. Piénselo ahorita. Think about it and you have like four minutes. Ahí, después no, René va a escoger el siguiente. So René is going to select next person. Hi, Richard. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo Good siguió? Uh, bien, bien, bien. <laughs> Good surviving. Good. Sí, yes, yes, yes. Oh. Fue difícil, pero sobreviví. Wow. Difícil, pero sobreviví, pero todavía sigo en eso, pero ya lo de soldar ya estuvo ya. Oh, ok. Pero solo okay. me queda cablear y conectar. Ya estuvo. Ay, sí. Pero gracias por conectarse. You know, si solamente está escuchando, le, le recomendaría que. Eh, no, no vea la pantalla, right? It, it is not necessary. Igual ahorita vamos a la práctica de listening. So, yes. listen, listen, get it, you know. Eh, eh, and, exactly, exactly. Try to listen and, and understand qué es lo que los compañeros nos quieren decir. That's okay. Eh, eh, Para esa, que no le afecte. La, la última palabra que dijo, that's it, es la misma que estábamos platicando ayer, ¿verdad? Solo que ella tiene la apóstrofe S y it. That. Uh, oh, la palabra que usted me yes. decía. Sí, es la misma. Yes. Exactly. Uh, es que that okay. es como eso. Uh -huh. sí, sí. That es como eso, that's como it. aquello. En este escenario, that's it. Es como esto es todo, right? Ah, eso okay. es todo. Uh -huh. That's it. That, that's it. That's it. Uh -huh. That's it. Ah, ok, ok. That's no, it. Uh -huh. eso, es, eso es todo. That's it. That's it. Uh -huh. Unimos okay. el sonido. That is it. That is it. That's it. That's uh -huh. it. Yes. Okay, aquí estaré. Thank you. Yes. And it's correct to say that's all. Yeah, no es que esté incorrecto. It is not incorrect. That's all. But to be honest, suena como muy literal. You know, okay. much, mucho de... Um, lo que sucede es que hay expresiones en, 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 en inglés que ya están dadas, entonces no es necesario que las traduzcamos literalmente. Um, yo diría que suena como muy, muy así, muy traducida literal de español a inglés. Uh -huh. Pero no es que esté mal, it's not wrong. Como por ejemplo la expresión de tenés la razón. So, in, in English, tenés la razón o es cierto, tenés la razón, es you are right. Hey, you're right. Pero si decimos, you have the reason, no es que esté mal, pero es muy literal. No, no sería como adecuada. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. You are welcome. You have two minutes.
Okay, everybody, it is about time. So nuestra primera persona, the first person of the night is Rene. Thank you so much, Rene. Sorry, teacher, but I can't participate now because it's, I have I am working. Oh, I understand. Thank you so much for letting me know. No problem. Okay, so uh, since Rene is not uh, able to, let's select another person. Jocelyn, diga me otro número. Tell me another number. Fifteen. Number 15, so that goes to Moses. Moses, está por ahí? Are you around? Moses, Moses. Are you working, Moses? Probably. Yeah, I think he was working. Yeah, it's nice something. Probably he's still working, okay. So in the meantime, mientras él regresa and we know what's going on, let's go ahead and select Brian. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so Brian, okay. let's get it started with you. Okay, so Brian. Son... Okay. Vamos a, uh, uh, lo voy a hacer con, con eh, you know, uh, para que sea más igualitario, 30 segundos, 30 seconds. Tell us about your favorite person or una persona famosa, right? Okay, no problem. I talk a little about my father. Mm -hmm. He is so dear. He has a uh, 50, uh, 52 years old. Mm -hmm. He has lived in USA. Mm -hmm. He likes uh, a lot watch watches uh, sport. Mm -hmm. He he loves Real Madrid. Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't like uh, cats. Uh, he likes drink uh, only beer and room. Uh, I don't know. He time is over. Amazing. Thank you. He doesn't have exercise. He doesn't like exercise. <laughs> Thank you so much. I like the description. That sounds very nice and and very good grammar. Very good use of vocabulary. Cool. Um. Okay. Brian, diga mi número. Tell me one number from one to twenty-three, please. Uh, ten. Okay, so number 10, that goes to two, four, six, eight, and then number 10 is Guadalupe. Hi, Guadalupe. Hi, miss. You are the chosen one. <laughs> okay, okay, Guadalupe, nice. Tell us about the person you have selected. Solo son 30 segundos, 30 seconds. Si necesita ayuda, aquí le ayudamos, no worries. Okay, uh, let me about talk about my my son. Mm -hmm. uh, his name is Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Is the the first son. Mm -hmm. uh, he has twenty years old. Mm -hmm. uh, she has a uh, married. Uh, she works in the in the bank, mm -hmm. American Express. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She has a uh, five years in the, in mm -hmm. this bank. Mm -hmm. She lives near to me. Wow, time is over. <laughs> Mejor el minuto. <laughs> no, that was amazing. Thank you so much. Very good description, Guadalupe. I like Thank it you. a lot. Very fluent. Thank you so much. That that is the thirty second time. Okay, Thank Guadalupe, you. from one to twenty four. Give me a number. Um, seven. Okay, two, four, six, seven. That's Claudia. Thank you, Claudia. So you are the one. Okay, Hello. 30 seconds. Hello. Solo son 30 let's, segundos. 30 seconds. Let me tell about my aunt. Eh, tengo duda con tía. Aunt. Aunt is okay. Aunt. Mm -hmm. her, her name is Arely. Mm -hmm. She had her up um, very early at 5 p.m. She exercises, she likes to cook, mm -hmm. she serves bread, bread fat, um, at seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. She is very um, happy. My uh, God, time is over. 
That's it. Oh, perfect. That's it. Okay, that's it. Very nice. Good job. Le agregó la hora, so you added extra details. That is very nice. Um, tía is aunt. So aunt. aunt, como la hormiga. <laughs> Se parece bastante. So aunt. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. did it nicely. Thank you. Uh, Claudia, Thank you. tell me a number from 1 to 23. Cualquier número, any number. Dígame un número, seven, Claudia. Seven. seven. Oh, otro número, another one. Um, eleven. Eleven. Okay. Two, four, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Number eleven is Ignacio here. Ignacio está por ahí. Oh, he, no, ahí está. <laughs> I was going to say que lo había sacado. No, there, there he is. Okay, nice. So, Inés. I have a voluntary or big team. I don't know. Las dos. <laughs> Both. <don't know. laughs> 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Let's go. Okay, okay. Let, let, okay. let me talk about my son, Raul Ignacio. Um, he's a studying at the university. Mm -hmm. And the career, career related to clinical laboratory. laboratory. Okay. Yeah, and um, continue. Go. And uh, for free time, he like playing PlayStation. Okay. And uh, he has he inherited the character of his mother okay. because uh, he always pretend to the race. And, okay. uh, and the um, and seek to be a perfectionist. He does not like to have disorder in my house. Oh, that, that's I, a I, very I, nice like, one. Like your mom, like your mom. Okay, very similar to his mom. Okay, very mm. nice description. Thank you so much, Ignacio. Yeah, you know, la próxima vez vamos a hacerlo de un minuto. <laughs> 30 seconds is a little time. Es muy poquito, no nos alcanza. So very mm. nice job, everybody. You did it nicely. Los escuché utilizando terceras personas súper bien. Muy buen uso de vocabulario. Um, eh, los posesivos súper bien. Very good job. Eh, just little things, you know, eh, que podemos ir mejorando en el camino. Eh, for example, los posesivos. Be careful un poquito con los posesivos. Remember that your es que eh, estamos hablando de la persona que se enfrente o directamente con, con nosotros, right? So, si me dicen, por ejemplo, eh, I like your blouse, es como tú, right? La de usted. Eh, pero si yo digo, por ejemplo, um, hey, Norberto, me gusta la corbata de Norberto, ¿cómo digo me gusta su corbata? I like his. His, exactly. So, I like his style, me gusta la corbata. Y digamos que no se fuera de una chica onda una corbata, solo le cambiamos. I like her. her. Exactly, exactly. So remember, your es para usted directamente con quien estoy hablando. Y si es de un chico, he. Si es de una chica, her. Y si es de ustedes, entonces se puede usar your in that case. Um, teníamos pendiente antes de terminar, que ya casi nos vamos, eh, teníamos pendiente la plataforma. Les quiero mostrar el ejercicio número dos para que ustedes me indiquen dónde tienen como mayores dificultades, ¿verdad? Right? ¿Cuál es el que les está dando ahí? ¿Cuál es la piedra en el camino? <ríe> so, exercise. En mi caso es el ejemplo cuatro. Es el cuatro. Ok, so we are in number four. Let me just go down a little bit. Um, en el number four hay un pequeño glitch con el sistema que se refiere a esa, esta, a la A, tiene una A extra, y la palabra staff que vamos a cambiar por la palabra employee. Es lo mismo, pero para cuestiones de, de you know, formato. So, ¿con qué comenzamos? Weekend. Ok, comenzamos con weekends. Ok, weekends. Weekends oh, weekend off. Uh -huh. Will be. Ok, will be. A uh, good. Would be a good option. 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 Mm -hmm. To have. To have. To employees happy. To, to have, have employees happy. happy. Employee. To have. Pero el adjetivo siempre va primero. Entonces, to, to have, have. To have happy. Happy, happy employees. 
employees. Vamos a cambiar la palabra staff por employees. Veamos si funciona o si vamos a quitarle algo o ponerle algo más. Ahí, Ahí está. That is the one. So, solamente es, eh, son cositas de formato, right? Mm, no necesitamos staff y le cambiamos la palabra staff por la palabra employees. Uh -huh. Um, Teacher, ¿me podría recordar la estructura de, de eso? Es como... ¿Cuál? Eh, es, es por lo que dijo, el adjetivo va antes de... Oh, de yes, of course. Los adjetivos siempre van antes de lo que usted quiera describir. All the time. Eh, por ejemplo, si yo quiero describir la pared, por ejemplo, el color de mi, de mi casa o el color de las paredes. So, tengo la pared, right? pero, es, pero es color azul. Entonces, siempre que voy a describir colores, voy a hacer una breve descripción o anything, siempre escribo el color en la descripción. So, tengo primero blue. Eh, tengo, permítame que no me quiere escribir. I have blue, por ejemplo, y luego blue wall, right? Oh, it is a blue wall. Eh, si quiero describir, por ejemplo, a una niña, to a girl, y digo que la niña es bonita, so I have beautiful, siempre ese adjetivo debe de ir antes. Girl beautiful no funciona así. En español sí decimos niña bonita, pero en inglés decimos primero beautiful girl. Siempre va el adjetivo antes. Eh, o digamos, no sé, una chica holgazana, so a lazy girl, siempre va primero. Por eso es okay. que la, los games... Se llama Lazy Town. Si alguna vez vieron Lazy Town, so por eso es que el adjetivo iba antes. Lazy Town. Mm -hmm. Siempre el adjetivo iba antes. Gracias. Oh, you're welcome. Ok, guys. Eh, recordarles que a quienes... Bueno, empezamos ahora la sesión número 2, o digamos la unidad número 2. Por tanto, la que nos corresponde, vamos avanzando a little bit. Nos movemos de la actividad número 1. Vamos a la siguiente. Eh, que es esta, Staff and Schedules, que es lo que comenzamos a ver el día de ahora. en please, para que no se les acumulen, no tengan mucho trabajo después o hacerlo todo en un solo día, comencemos con la primera, que es esta de acá, How to use Simple Present for Schedule Activities, y es lo que acabamos de ver. Remember, lo único que hago es agregarle ese al verbo. Y si se fijan, el ejercicio está bien corto, bien fácil, y así ya nos quitamos de, de que la teacher me está escribiendo. <risa> No, so, avanzamos y no se, no, se, no se saturan, que es la idea, no saturarse. Eh, sí. Me ayudan solo con confirmación, porfa, guys. Eh, voy a pasarles la asistencia. Give me one second. Anita, porfa, me regala confirmación. Present teacher. Gracias, Brian. Present, present teacher. Thank you so much. Eh, Danny, I got you. Eh, Saraí, I got you. Present. Eduardo, Eduardo no lo veo. I don't see him. No, I don't think he's not here. Ooh, okay. That's bad. One second. Meteme un segundo. Dime one second here. Okay. Eduardo Snot, eh, Jocelyn. Present. Gracias, Ignacio. Bueno, Ignacio se ha estado acá. Eh, Alex, Alex nos escribió present. Eh, Marvin, Marvin López está por acá. Marvin, lo vi hace unos segundos, but Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. Ok. It's not there. Eh, Nelson. Hi, Nelson. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Richard. Richard is está ahí. Mabel. Present Thank you so much. Present teacher. Thank you there. And Claudia. Present teacher. Thank you very much. All right, guys. So, agradecerles a todos por la excelente asistencia de la unidad número uno. You know, 
Eh, creo que todos estamos en 100%. Uh, son pocos los que me han faltado. Remember that, unfortunately, no está en nuestras manos brindar autorizaciones, permisos, aunque les quisiéramos decir, decir que sí con el corazón. Es like, no se puede. We cannot do it. So les agradezco enormemente que siempre se conecten. Si tienen alguna dificultad, eh, podemos solamente ser oyentes. Yo no solo me escribo en teacher, solo voy a escuchar because, you know, pasó algo. And, and I'm super good with that pero sí les pedimos de su asistencia every single day. So guys, eh, gracias por ahora. Nos vemos el día de mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Que descansen. Have a wonderful night and sleep well. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a good one. Okay. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night. Yes, of course. Good night, teacher. Bye, bye guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. See you, see sure. is here. She's here. Dan is there.